Coverage you can count on begins with keeping your kids safe on the water. The most recent drowning in our area took the life of a two year old Augusta boy this week. Isabella Moody spoke with another family that continues to turn its loss into a way to save lives. Kim, we still have several weeks left in pool season and safe swimming advocates want to make sure you and your family stay safe. It's just one of those things that you can't avoid, right? I mean, your kids love to be around water. The Izzy Scott Foundation was founded when Walter Scott lost his four-year-old son, who drowned while taking private swimming lessons in 2022. The incident led to Izzy's law in Georgia, which sets a guideline for private swim coaches to follow when conducting a lesson. A lot of private swim instructors will say it will be, um, we'll get your child trained and they'll be ready to swim in one week, but we'll need 100% focus from the child, which means you can't stay. That's a red flag. I try to stay out of the way so that he can focus on the instructor, but I do like that I'm able to see like what's happening. The Izzy Scott Foundation is a resource group for Izzy's Law to provide information on safety around lakes, the beach, and anything about swim safety, while also providing swim lessons at the Croc Center. We do everything that we can to kind of provide information to everyone in the state and also nationally on the things to look for when they actually sign their kids up for swim lessons. Parents who receive the lessons tell me their kids are becoming more confident in and around the water since being in the class. Having a child that had never been in a pool before, really, um, I thought that he wasn't going to do as well as he is. He's getting more acquainted with the water. Um, the instructors are, are great, and so he's having fun. You just want your kids to have that vital lesson to be able to know what to do if they're ever in a predicament. Experts tell me that the most important thing is to make sure your child has a life jacket on until they know how to swim. For more information on swim lessons and the Izzy Scott Foundation, you can find that on WJBF.com. Kim?